my husband is going on a business trip all the way to California. Um, I think about five days and we will be five weeks out from competition so therefore he needs his meals packed prep packed and put in his luggage so this is a little training video for how to travel with food so everything i've already cooked i've cooked rice i've cooked sweet potatoes and i've got a whole bunch of chicken that i will measure out everything in his portions put it in um, freezer bags, seal it in Tupperware containers, and then that will get put into his luggage and onto the plane and shipped out. So it'll all be frozen except for the sweet potatoes. Um, so it should be good for the five, six hour trip to California. You can travel with food. He will also have a small six pack bag that will have um, two meals in there. And as long as you don't have liquid, uh, more than three ounces of liquid, you can take food on. They will x-ray it, I let them x-ray my food, or they'll hand search it. Um, so that's how we get through um, TSA and the airports with food. So he'll have chicken and rice and chicken and sweet potatoes. He can even have some egg whites. And what I'll use for freezer packs are like frozen vegetable, something cheap that I picked up, um, edamame frozen, that's his ice pack. Mainly because if the ice pack falls out, it's not liquid and legally they can take that and toss your ice pack. So we'll just use frozen vegetables, either he'll eat them or toss them or refreeze them in the mini fridge and then use that on his way back home. So everything will be portioned out. I'll measure each individual chicken breast, put that in a baggie. So he has no need to worry about how much he should have. It'll already be sectioned out for him. It's just what I do. I'm a good wife. <laughs> so don't ever fear about traveling um, short distances, far distances on a plane. You can take your own food with you. Just be smart about it. You're going to put a liquid in there and they're going to take it. But your food? They're not going to take your food. They might just want to hand search it. And search away. You probably won't want to eat what I have anyway. So that's how you get through the airports on a bodybuilding nutrition diet or just when you're traveling you don't want to eat crappy food. Till next time, do the work.